Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. By from Alessandro and Abe, um, and we are back with uh, an episode, which is kind of bit of uh, maybe a walk in the memories for us, more or less, yeah. because we want to talk about uh, um, something that has been asked us, and is how did we get to Open Render? Yeah. Basically. Why do we use it? We Why do we use it? We um, both have used processing before. Right. I would say I I mean I, I would say I, I started mostly with processing. I spent a lot of time yeah. with processing. Um and then I approached to uh, I arrived to open render through you oh. and you arrived to open render somehow we we both got reasons to use open render and we yeah. want to explain why or you know show why which which of those yeah. were moving us to you know go to a different language, learn a different syntax? Almost it's almost like changing a city. Yeah, one can think, right? So yeah. sometimes there are motivations for these things. There must be. <laughs> there must be. Uh, uh, you know, al unless you are in exile or whatever. But for both of us, it was a conscious decision. To yeah, I think at the beginning, uh, many people also like they want to try everything. Mm -hmm. to find out what they like mm -hmm. uh, but at some point at least for me like you think oh i better focus on something otherwise uh, i'm just going to settle down keep my uh, life trying languages and frameworks and yeah but then this of course this calls the i mean i think that um these decisions are uh, most in most of the cases easier to make when you're looking for something that you cannot get <laughs> because if you are very very comfortable with the tools you have yeah i think that it doesn't you know comes to your mind to look for something else mm -hmm. so i would say that this episode is a bit about this yeah like the thing we had we have learned through processing mm -hmm. and where we thought we could do more yeah. that uh, yeah. yeah that we found in over render mm -hmm. okay so you can see on the screen the two pages yeah. uh, the two Th yeah. these are the both web websites of two frameworks we have used and they are not the only ones i've used no. open frameworks open and, frameworks as well others the, yeah yeah and if you want to put a node based programming there are a host of other yeah. frameworks yeah, like yeah, touch yeah. designer uh, cable js tulu mm. as many as you want, but we want to uh, basically compare these two yeah. just because processing has been something we have used a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, th I think, yeah, we want to start also by saying that this is uh, our, these are our reasons mm -hmm. to uh, why we moved to Open Render. And we don't want to talk about, you know, we are not talk doing pedagogical here. We are <laughs> not. Um, somehow how to say um, we still I think we both still find processing as a great tool yeah. for beginners and you know when you're starting to learn if you come from uh, no knowledge of uh, coding mm -hmm. I find the processing community very welcoming yeah it's probably uh, also easier yeah it's uh, also easier and all of, all of these fantastic things the website is well curated and there are tons of uh, I, I just say nice tutorials for things to do yeah. but we are talking as as people that want to use a tool at kind of um, a stable professional or semi-professional settings mm -hmm. and so yeah this is the context in which we move. Yeah. So and one more thing is you mentioned that processing is great for beginners and mm -hmm. not only for beginners mm -hmm. like I've used it also to do big projects. Completely, um, yeah. But then, yeah, at some point when projects grow and you want to do certain kind of things, then... You might find some limitation. Yeah. 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 And also maybe as a final remark is that... Uh, um, I think it's worth to mention that uh, not as, uh, I mean, not, not colored by any, I'd say, saying this is a great thing or is a bad thing, but just yeah. as a fact that we are a bit code nerds. We come from <laughs> coding background yeah. and we like code itself also. Yeah. I think this is relevant to say yeah. because I find that some of the appreciation we have mm -hmm. for Open Render mm -hmm. is also the way it looks and the way it works. Yeah. That for other people, this might not be mm. a relevant thing. If we I want to make visual art, I yeah. might not be yeah. so interested in the code itself yeah. while we are. Some and people so who maybe code doesn't resonate with them so much, and, and you can do a node-based mm, programming. Yeah, yeah, and there is nothing wrong with that. So no. this, this is just uh, the disclaimer. We, I we just 
really can like we can find code beautiful yes exactly and so sometimes we spend time even about you know how to say um, language properties that we find you know expressive or even as you said beautiful to look at yeah so i i think this has to be taken into account because mm -hmm. i think in mod, you know it's at the basis of some of our decision yeah. on, on the framework to use do you think someday we will frame some code in, a, in the wall <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pro probably <laughs> probably like it would not be a bad idea actually um but yeah but so this said i would say we can start yeah yeah so I'm gonna maybe we compose and then we start with the first point. Yes. See you in the next episode. See you in a moment. <laughs>